Peace and blessings. I am Mr. Mustafa Abdelhat Abdallah of the Third Church of Jerusalem, House of Prayer, Temple of God. And what I'd like to do today is just do a little sermon on belief. When it comes to our religions, you know, what it comes down to is belief. Because it is dealing with such a subject that is so beyond our comprehension, um, so beyond our understanding, that, you know, we're talking about God, we're talking about the greatest being, the greatest power, the greatest cause, you know, the cause of everything. You know, since, it's, since it is beyond, you know, our knowledge, then of course it comes down to belief. You know, we believe in a, in a specific religion. We believe that what a religion says, that God says, that we have to just believe it, that have faith in it, believe it. Um, believe that if we do this, that we will go to heaven if we do this that we may go to hell uh, belief now for me and what our preacher third church it come I believe in how perfect can you believe how perfect can you believe when you take any religion and you start dealing with the truth of that religion um, the truth of our own ignorance and we start to interpret religions you know for the religions who have um, have a book or you know the words uh, instructions go by and you have to interpret it then what is the best way you can interpret it? Since come down interpretation and belief, how perfect can you believe that the interpretation is? Um, for example, specifically dealing with the Bible, dealing with the truth, once again, the uncompromising truth, we deal with the Bible. There are a lot of things in the Bible that still have not been proven outside of the Bible itself. Um, Noah's the ark has still not been found, and there are not many historical uh, proofs of the existence of Jesus Christ outside of the Bible. Now you might be able to find that there was a Jesus, you know, but what I speak of is meaning that Jesus in the Bible specifically, that Son of God, the Son of God beyond us all, which we're all children of God. I am a Son of God, but we're talking about the direct Son of God who existed before everyone else who is the word of God who existed with his father before our existence um, or the Jesus Christ in the Bible who some believe is God himself so we're, we're talking about the Jesus Christ within the Bible and all his his powers um, all those things attributed to him you know like I said outside the Bible there's not really that much proof that exists, you know. So, so that means once again coming down to belief interpretation. The Bible can be interpreted in different ways. If you take the literal meaning, the literal interpretation of Bible, then you get one thing. But if you take a metaphysical meaning of the Bible, a metaphysical interpretation, then you get another one. 
So going back to how perfect can you believe? What is the best way that you can interpret the Bible? What is the best way that you can believe in a Bible? You know, it's the best way for me if I believe that we take the literal sense of the Bible um, and we're talking about the good and the bad. Beyond just, you know, loving, loving your brother, loving God, um, doing the good things. You know, there's also the bad, um, the damnation, or even where it speaks of uh, killing of people, retribution, even killing of children in some instances. Now, if you take that literally, is that the best that I can believe in that? Is that the best I can interpret it? Well, for me, no. The best I can interpret it, the best that I can believe in it is that I believe that the Bible is totally meant to be read in a metaphysical way. So that, once again, I take everything in the Bible and I apply it to me. So the Bible is a blueprint for myself on how I can achieve salvation without using it to 